Hey everyone, this is Adrian with another release for Avo. So we're going to release 2.29, I think. Yep, 2.29. So let's get into it. So maintenance. So we have a bump here. Thank you so much, Vitali. Uh, remove resource control from generator. Thank you so much, Ariane. Um, this is uh, something that I think we had in the generator that was wrong. It shouldn't. It was not supposed to be there. Yes, resource controls. We changed that API, and now this is better. Thank you so much for that. Fix generate has rich text. Oh, Oscar. Yeah, thank you so much. So what was happening here was that whenever you had a has rich text, um, let me just try and find one. Yes, whenever you had like has rich text on a model the generated resource instead of reading this right and adding like a tricks field it would add a um has one i think and it would say like has one it, actually it would say something like fa field um body as has one instead of adding a field body as tricks so that was def de definitely wrong this is the good one so and this is um, this is now better. Thank you so much, Oscar, for this. Uh, fix adding tags without act as taggable. Um, Oscar, again, thank you so much. Um, you know, fixing your, um, you know, taking things into your own hand. We we love that. Sometimes we don't have like time for to to pick up every task every time. So the problem was here. This is a bug we introduced. Um, I think. In our last release uh, when we played around with the tags field and instead of like um, instead of the field keeping the value in memory in in the storing it in your data in the database it will actually store the whole array like the whole object like value and everything so that is now fixed so uh, you can you can check this uh, this issue out for details but not that that is now fixed so tags uh, field works better Attachment delete action does not respond. Yeah, so this came from Ali. So what was happening was whenever you would try and delete a, um, a file, uh, it would actually perform the action, but like the turbo stream, the turbo frame, something happened there that it, didn't, it did not respond. And now it says, yes, attachment destroyed and it refreshes the page. So that is fixed as well. Better mount point discovery. Yeah, this is a tricky one. So this fixed like two issues and I think there were others in the past. But what was happening was that some people like um, some developers have different needs and uh, like you mount like the way I imagined it at first, like, hey, you would mount the engine in somewhere in your path, like admin or whatever, and that would be like sufficient, but it definitely is not so you have other needs and we try to tend to them. So somebody was uh, using Avo like this. So it would scope out the the route to like a course and locale and then mount Avo. Uh, in like in most parts, this just worked, but we had some issues with, because we have this thing, we have to take the path from like Ruby and give it to JavaScript and we use this uh, window object and we have avo configuration and i think it's root path yeah and this path is used by like the search and i think in one more place um, i can't remember it right now so now as you can see like okay let me refresh because i i added this uh, route here so i'm gonna say like one two three english and now it should work um it's not working why is that so course and locale i think i have to restart the server oh this is not it okay perfect so now i am on this path so the course url so the course id and the locale so course and locale and this path was not generated properly because um you know it takes some computing to figure out that okay one two three in English is actually part of the root path and then pass that to the search and now search works properly it didn't before and uh, again somebody used this in a different way 
So in the config and this uh, rack uh, configuration file, they would do something like this. So it would, it would actually like scope out the whole application behind a full path. So whatever, this works too now if, you do, if you're doing that, if that um, works for you. So this works now, like the search works and everything else. And um, yeah, I hope um, nobody else has any issues with paths and search and other things. And if you do, please um, tell us about them because we love fixing those. Uh, we have two features. So date field support for string columns. Yeah, this is something I added when I built Ruby on Rails.info. You can check out that video on our YouTube channel. And um, so we support, so as date, so we support um, date fields for date columns or date time columns, but we didn't do, we didn't support those for text fields and we added support for that. So now you can use a text column with a date field. So that works now. Coolio and add search result path and search authorization method. So thank you so much, uh, Gla Glauco. Um, this was an amazing PR. The, you championed this like, like a champion, like he, it's perfect. You moved it from zero to one. So what this adds two features, one of them um, user policy, but I think I added it to application policy. Maybe, 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 maybe. Yes. So it adds authorization to search. So application policy. So now you have by default, you have to add this search method to your policies to enable search. And that will, let me just show you how this works. So, um, search is disabled everywhere, but it should be enabled here. Let me see, let me check, um, search, I will search, yep. So I'm gonna go back to users, go back, let me just do this. Yeah, let me go back on the right path. Uh, so users. So you see Avo, um, the search method returns true. You can see the search here and you can search for a user in the uh, global search. But if I switch to this to false and I refresh the search, um, you know, the search box for users disappears and now the, there are, you won't find any users here, right? So you basically can control the authorization through this search method. Uh, by default, it comes as search, but you can update it to something else in your initializer. So you can go to authorization methods and say, okay, for search, instead of using, you know, the regular search, uh, question mark, you can use Avo search or admin search or whatever, um, whatever you, you want to use in your app. So it doesn't clash with your other funded, uh, policies. Cool. So this is a, uh, yeah, this is a good one. And, and there's another thing, there's another thing for this PR. So search result URL. So this is a cool one. Mm, I don't think I have it here. I don't, don't I? Hmm, this is interesting. Uh, maybe. Search result URL. Am I not looking on a, a, this? Um, it's probably, yeah, search result path. Yeah, yeah. Okay, search result path on a city resource. So whenever you go and uh, search for something, what cities do I have? you whenever you click on a, or a hit enter on a record it will take you to that records show page but maybe you don't want that and you want to um, just use a different path so i'm gonna write vatican hmm, let me see okay so i have to add name equals so name contains this was a misconfiguration in my search in, in ransack so vatican and now you'll see that the URL is going to have the custom yup parameter added because I updated this block. So you have this new block, which is called search result path. And now you get access to the record where um, the search was the record that you are currently on. So this is Vatican. And then you just return a path and you can return like a um, an app path for yourself or you can say something else like uh, HTTPS that 
google.com uh, I don't know if search maybe I don't know uh, and query and add query where is it uh, equals and say record name whatever you can do you can do whatever you want and now whenever uh, you go to this record you'll be redirected there so booyah so this is an amazing feature thank you so much Gloco, for this uh, you've been amazing uh, pushing this through um cool so that's about it for our release i think yes yes uh what else so we have this location field review in in review so thank you so much for this help authors yes thank you so much uh so um the, uh, the author is a beginner this is a bounty from beginner bounties it's actually the first bounty on on the website so um thank you um oliver chris oliver for uh making this possible so now they are adding the a location field so you'll be able to add uh, coordinates and see that location on a map so this is uh, this is a cool thing to have uh, we have that in uh, going we have a few good first issues I added this one just right now, allow resource menu items to receive parameters. I added an approach and everything else, like uh, what should happen here. So if you want to pick up a, a good first issue, like this would be a good introduction into AVO. Uh, Coolio. Next up, short Ruby. Pff, I don't have to mention it all every time, but I do because there are a lot of cool things here. So. Um, Joel Drapper announced like flex uh, asynchronous co code running, which is amazing. Joe Mazzelotti has a hundred contributors. This is also amazing. This is an amazing snippet by Will Cosgrove. Uh, so I will, if you don't turn this into a gem, I think I will, because this is just perfect. So you'll have a lot of like the good like uh, gems into this, um, into this uh, issue. So go check it out. Um, I know, I know, um, Yaro uh, released something cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So, active record uh, encryption. This is a very cool tutorial. Like, you just go, you just have to go and, and, and see it, and uh, I'm sure you're going to love it. So, very good content, Yaro. Thank you so much for that. Um, getting back to friendly, we will have to uh, publish a uh an update soon because we don't have many early bird tickets we have only three remaining we have amazing people that join so people from the community have purchased a ticket and uh, you know people that i look up to people that i like their tweets i retweet them and i just look up to them and um seeing them like coming to this um conference that i'm helping put out it's just like uh, heartwarming for me. So thank you so much for that. We'll probably re release some kind of statistics. We definitely want to show you guys how many like from f like how many people from how many countries are attending. So I, I think we had ten like about three or four weeks ago. We had ten different countries. I think we have more now, but we will release an update for that as well. So I'm very excited about that. Otherwise, uh, if you're in Vilnius on April 6th, I am uh, going on this meetup. Um, I am talking about like building Rails apps 10 times faster. I'll do like a demo, like a getting started part of a demo, and then maybe something a little bit more complex about doing like custom content and showing people, showing folks how to uh, break out of the like the crud and everything else that you know just works from from Avo and do your own thing so if you're in vilnius uh i'd love to see you and i would love to get your feedback like even before the meetup because i want to provide i want to put out content that you guys want and you guys need so um definitely send me uh, an email a tweet or a discord message or whatever and i would love to um you know make it happen uh, otherwise yeah we posted something today as well um so where is it where is it profile yeah so we need your help with something something i'm getting more and more requests to like demo avo to customers to users to people that haven't experienced avo before 
and this should be like a six to nine minute demo video this is something that i have to do live and um i'm asking you like what do you think is like the most important thing to th that i can present in these like six to nine minutes something that will trigger that aha moment that hey oh my god this is so powerful oh, okay i get it now i see how this helps me i see what this framework can do or it can't do this is where it can help me and or it can help me so i'm asking your help uh please check out this thread because uh you know uh i wrote my thoughts here like what i could do or i couldn't do and i would love to get your opinion on that so um yeah thank you so much for that Otherwise, let me show you what we've, we have been doing uh, with Avo for Avo3 lately. So for the past, I think, three to four weeks, we've been, we've been busy extracting features from Avo. So we're, ex we're extracting some features from Avo. We are moving them to a separate, rep separate repositories, separate gems like Avo Pro, Avo Advanced, dashboards, filters, menus, and, and so on. And we've been playing around with the code and have been trying to find a way where, uh, in, in, in which we can, you know, have the base AVO repository that can be um, uh, standalone. It could be like it could have like the free features and the community features, and everybody, anybody can commit to that. Uh, by just you know cloning the repo and just using it but we would also want a way to be able to um, properly test all the features together uh, to have a way to uh, an easy way to run tests to have an easy way to run um, you know tests with everything together or tests with those packages separately and I know it kind of sounds like trivial uh, it may sound trivial or it may sound like a problem that was fixed before but it, it really like because of the nature of how these things play together um, it just makes it a little bit more difficult and we have uh, I think we have we have reached a good um, a good way to do it. So we have like the Avo, the base uh, repo. We have Avo Pro, Avo Advanced. You have some features that deserve their own repos, like dashboards, filters, and menu. We're probably going to remove this this uh, repository. Then we have this Promi app. So it's like dummy, but for a pro version. Yeah, uh, we just named it Promi. So this would have like all of the features, all of the gems for so the community, the pro, the advanced, all of the gems together, and we would be able to test everything in uh, you know uh, together. So we see that, that that they can play nice, and we don't have any conflicts um, uh, with them. We can also like test things in its own like spec uh, suit, and then each. Um, each gem will have its own suit and its own dummy app which will be isolated and we can test different um, different things in in there so I think filters has some um, uh, uh, does it does it I don't know if it okay maybe it doesn't so we'll we'll be able to test in isolation as well and now this is a cool thing that we built we have this support repository this is open source you can find it on on github on our um, on our um, organization and we built we used dry CLI so we, I, I kind of enjoyed doing this um, so we used dry CLI to build a, um, a CLI helper app which will be able to you know bump the the gems so we don't want to like cd into multiple like directories okay cd where am i into avo pro okay we have to bump it we have to push it we have to build it whatever we can do that from outside and we can just say something let me just show you we can say something like um so i'm the root directory so i'm say bud it comes from buddy and i can say uh bump um and say gem filters and it would go inside and run the bump uh, gem, the bump command, and it will bump it from like whatever it was to something else. And we can pass it parameters as well. And it can do multiple things. So it will bump the gems, it will build the gems, push it to Ruby gems. It will commit um, and cut a tag and then do a release, which a release is actually a command that does everything. So it just uses all of those previous uh, commands. And now we added a run command, which, which is amazing. And we can say something like bud uh, run a Ruby version and specify the gem or specify all. And now it will run in each of those directories and it can run different um, commands. So we can say like, I don't know, git pull or whatever, right? So again, this saves us a lot of time and uh, allows us to move 
very fast with um, deploying, you know, uh, Avo and pushing features. So um, we love that we did this. We extracted features because we had too many things in Avo, uh, and now where they are extracted, they are in their own repos and packages. We love that we did this, but we didn't want this to be like, you know, it's going to be a pain in the ass to um, to support. So yeah, this is what we did. Um, again, we want, so definitely we're late. We said we're going to release Avo 3 in March. It's almost April. So in April, we want to release a beta version. So people that want to try it out and, you know, be on the edge and uh, they, they want to try out Avo 3, we want to do that. So definitely this is on our roadmap and speaking of roadmaps we have updated the roadmap on our website so we're working on version 3 and have updated some of the features that are coming into Avo 3 so you know scopes and index records preview i think i showed some of these like better fields api this is something that we i haven't finished but i definitely want to do it because it's going to be amazing to work so it's going to allow you to uh you know use um different different ways to uh, combine features uh, combine fields in um, you know resources okay um, you know customize the resource resource controls on uh, all pages you know a plugins API this is something that we're working on it's a work in progress um, you know unified dynamic block API this I spoke about this so we're removing um, you know these parameters you know wherever we had them we're removing them so now you have like a clean block so it'll be uh you know better um a better um, experience all around resource adapters and resource adapters of course um this is something that we want to add we wanted to add for a long while so uh, mongo or http i've been working on the http adapter it's still a work in progress i haven't merged it or anything but it's it's looking cool and it's going to make um you know, working with Avo a little bit better. Asset Manager, um, this is, uh, actually this should be renamed. Inject Partials, yes, this is something I wanna do. Dynamic Filters, I show you this. Uh, test Helpers, this is merged. We have some amazing helpers for you guys. Dynamic Fields, again, this is something we prototyped. Uh, I still have to work a little bit on it. Nested Resources, this is something that Paul is working on and this looks amazing as well. So. Yeah, uh, a lot of cool things that are coming to Avo. Um, yeah, and um, I think that's about it. This is a, a, a pretty, a rather long, like a good lengthy video. So again, we need we need your help with this, like what would be the killer demo for Avo. Uh, friendly RB, you can get your tickets. So early bird, we have only th 30, three tickets left. General, we have a few more, but supporter, we have, a few special things for you guys so if you want to support this uh, conference and want to help out this is the ticket for you so again friendly rb um help with this uh this question and you know thank you for being awesome and being such an amazing community and there are very cool things coming for avo in the new near future cool so thank you so much have a good one and i'll see you next time